All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do the last little prep that we need to do to our uh, panels, uh, which includes, um, the way I typically do them is I'll do a combination of dominoes and pocket screws. Uh, typically will not glue them. Um, it just depends on the application. And I've changed over the years how I've put, the, put things together, but this is the way I'm currently doing it. So we'll put a couple of the dominoes in on each sides and bottoms, connect those. We'll put some stretchers on, get our back panel cut and fit, and then we'll have a fully assembled camera. All right, so we got the last little bit of prep to do to, this is our side panels, and there's a bunch of different ways um, to prep that. So one of the things I like to do is, I do have the domino, is I can come in here and I'll put a domino hole, two of them, and this is an upper cabinet, <clears throat> excuse me, upper cabinet. So I'll just do two dominoes on the side here, and that's all I need to do to this one. And then we have our uh, tops and bottoms that we'll need a couple more pieces to put in. All right, so this is either a top or bottom, doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, upper cabinet, got a groove in the back, and we've got our edge bend done. So now I'll just come in and do the same alignment with the domino. We've got those aligned in there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna put a couple of pocket holes in. I'll put three of them in to go ahead and put this together. All right, so we got all our panels finally prepped. Um, I've got my tops and bottoms. I'll do three pocket holes. Um, and there's a bunch of different ways you can do those. I've got the Craig uh, Foreman, makes it quick and easy, but you can use one of the smaller ones um, and then I've got my dominoes. I don't go ahead and I, I've got a five millimeter domino. I just leave them. I don't worry about trying to get them aligned this way. So I do it a little bit oversized. I'm more looking just to get a little bit more support in these shelves. Um, so we can go drop that in place. Get this one dropped in place. And then on these uppers, um, I'll do uh, two nailers, stretchers, top and bottom. So I'll do uh, one here and one here. Again, it's not gonna matter up and down. So what this does is I'll do pocket holes that'll go into the sides, but then I also go to the top and bottom. So that will really stiffen up this whole cabinet and uh, square it up. Uh, I'm, I may go ahead and put a third one in here just as another place to uh, screw to uh, for hanging the cabinets. But when we hang our cabinets, we'll be coming through here, you know, wherever they are. So this is 24, so we'll get at least one uh, stud on this, uh, hopefully more. Uh, one or two, depending on how it lays out. So, uh, so yeah. So then our back panel comes in. Drop that into place. Put our dominoes for the other side of it.
right, so I've got the stretcher that I'm going to put top and bottom. I'll do holes that it go into the bottom here, a couple of them, and then a couple into the sides. Slide this in. Nice and tight. And I'll go ahead and clamp that whole thing together and make sure my fronts are even, which they are. And then I just put all the pocket holes in, or pocket hole screws. Alright, we have a fully assembled cabinet, and that thing is ready to go to the job site, and we're ready to start installing these, and getting them all set up, get them leveled, get them in place, uh, and that'll probably be the next step. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do cabinets, guys. Um, this is a way of doing it, so if you've got some other ideas, I'm happy to hear them. Uh, Put them down in the comments. I do read all the comments. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, get some cabinets installed next. And uh, if you like this stuff, or if you're stuff that you want to see me do, I'm always looking for different ideas of uh, things to put up. Um, I've got a number of things that I'm wor uh, working on putting together. Um, I've got some su fun stuff coming down the road that I probably won't see it for a couple of months, but it should be a, a fun little... Uh, adventure to go on to start doing something I've never done before. So uh, that'll be coming up probably in about a month and a half. So till then, see ya.